A city built on mineral water and a mysterious castle. Today we have some interesting Georgian adventures coming your way. So join us as we visit Borjomi and Rabati Castle. Let's go. Uh, people built this uh, uh, city is its mineral water. Many people have stomach problems and when they want to get well, they always drink this kind of mineral waters. And the story of this uh, place begins from 16th century. Since 16th century here around this place, there were many villages. But because we had so many wars against Ottomans, everybody almost forget that here were some spring mineral waters. Uh, and uh, another life of the Borjomi city began at the beginning of the 19th century. The uh, beginning of the 19th century is a time when Russia managed to occupy all of the Georgian kingdoms. And according to the legend, when the Russian soldiers were crossing through this territory, they found uh, the mineral water again here. And we, as we know, some of the soldiers had some stomach problems. And when they tried this mineral water here, then they felt better. And the main reason why they decided to build the city here was um, this mineral water. We're gonna get ourselves a bottle so we are able to drink the mineral water itself. Unfortunately, we didn't actually bring a bottle with us. Madlova, thank you. It will be better. Film her when she tastes it's okay. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. No. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> She's asking if I want to look. She's uh, asking you if you want some national sweets. Oh. What is it? Ah, Russia, no. Walnut, no Russian. I don't know speaking English. It's okay. <laughs> and mostly here are um, uh, honey, because as I told you, the oldest honey was found in the ter near territory Borjomi, and of course, it is a good place to buy the honey if you want to. Hmm. Nice. Oh God! <laughs> it's okay. No, thank you. Maybe, maybe honey later. <laughs> maybe later today. My lover. No, no, of course not. There's the water that is worse than this one. Yes, next one. There are several. Bites taste, but it's more healthier. Oh, well. It's always the thing, people say like, oh, kale is so good for you, but it tastes so bad. Yep. <laughs> okay, oh, it smells like eggs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys, I got my bottle of uh, secret cure juice. The secret cure. <laughs> oh. It smells really bad. It, it's uh, there's a lot of sulfur in the water, so it smells like eggs. I don't know if I want to. No. Come, come. <laughs> it's supposed to be very good for your stomach, but it um, it doesn't smell so nice. It's uh, let let Luke try it. See how how Luke feels about the water here. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, it smells absolutely horrendous, but. It also tastes horrendous. Gomardus. Cheers. Oh my god. Yeah, but the taste is pretty disgusting to be honest. But um, the properties in this water, I'm sure, is very beneficial. But taste wise, on the palate, it's a big no. So, um, this water, apparently, from uh, what our guide said earlier, um, is very, very good for your stomach. And it was discovered by soldiers around here, so soldiers were sick. They came here, they drank this water, and uh, then obviously they were healthy afterwards. And this is why the city here exists. So guys, Borjomi, it's a fascinating place. We just had a look at this beautiful house off here in the distance. Yeah, we're going to basically go and have a second taste test now at a different fountain. Five Larry for entrance into this park here, and apparently this water tastes even worse 
than the first water that we tried. And the first water we tried was disgusting. It costs five jet. Okay. All right. Whew. Tickets are acquired. Madlova. So now we got our, so there apparently there are two sources of water. The first one is for free. You can just walk up and fill your bottle up basically. And there is a second source of water here where you have to pay an entrance. It's, um, it's five lari, five gel per person. And uh, the water here is supposed to be even more intense than the first <laughs> water we tried. So that's why uh, we were like, all right, let's go and uh, try the second water as well. Because why not? If why you not? are in the city of Borjomi, you have uh, to try the water. So I just okay, ladies and gents, second taste test uh, coming in. This looks like a 7-Up bottle, but what we will be drinking will be a lot less tasty than 7-Up. I can assure you that. Look at the size of the dog. Into the bus, as you know, this, this Hello, place, you know, if you just walk <laughs> the road, 45 or uh, 35 minutes later, you will reach the end, and then at the end of the park, there is a uh, place where... Yeah. <laughs> Don't fill it up. Well, but you want me to fill it up? You really think that we're going to use all of it? Why not? We paid five lottery to go in. <laughs> Okay, first try. I'm sorry. Yeah, it smells even stronger um, than the last one. More egg-like, actually. Raw egg, like, disgusting. Raw egg? Kind of smells like a gas leak. Not like boiled egg that has been lying in the sun? It literally smells like a gas leak, I'm not even joking. Um, but yeah, cheers guys, come on, just. It's worse. It's way, way worse. I didn't think that that would be possible, but it's worse. I'm gonna give it a, Why is it warm? This water is weirdly warm. The other one was cold. This one feels warm. Uh, let's give it a try. Oh. <laughs> it's horrible. It's so healthy. It's so healthy. Cheers, guys. Gamaru juice. So in the area um, where you can get the water, you also have a very, very expensive park um, with loads and loads of opportunities for children to play. And they even have a cable car. I don't know if you can see it. It kind of goes all the way up there to a nice viewpoint that you can enjoy, <clears throat> that you can enjoy on your own time. But um, we unfortunately don't have so much time here to walk around because we're going to go to the next destination relatively quick. But uh, as you can see, the park around here is just so, so stunning. Um, you have a stream of water down there, so like a little river as well, um, which gives it a very nice ambiance because you can hear the water. I hope you can hear it on the camera as well. It's so beautiful around here. This house is absolutely fascinating. Borjomi itself, the city of Borjomi. It's very beautiful. Unfortunately, we have a very brief sort of stop over here. The main reason why we visited Borjomi today was to sample some of the mineral water. And to be honest, it tasted, as we said, it tastes absolutely horrible. It smells absolutely horrible. But, but it's good for you. It is good for you, apparently. Um, I have something happening right now in my stomach. Um, and Naomi also says she feels pretty different um, but yeah nonetheless very unique experience I am 10 years younger now yes <laughs> we were just joking saying Naomi is all of a sudden gonna grow a mustache magical mustache and we will call her Rick instead of Naomi <laughs> <laughs> my name is Rick a little more than an hour's drive away from Borjomi the city that we were just in, we arrived in a place called Achalchike, and I hope I'm not butchering the pronunciation, but here we are at the amazing, magnificent Rabati Castle. <laughs> and we're going to be exploring around Rabati today for the next few hours, and then possibly grabbing some food as well. Achalchike, that's where we are. 
Achaltzike. 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 And do you remember what is the name of the castle? Rabati. Rabati. <laughs> and Achaltzike means, literally translates into new castle. New castle. So they have a new castle and they have a Baghdad. <laughs> we have both. <laughs> we have both. <laughs> As you guys probably might have just seen, we took a quick walk there through this section of the castle. And there was some expression dance people, very interesting to walk past. People literally were like lying on the ground dancing around each other. Um, but wow, look at this Rabati castle. It's beautiful. So many mixes of different architectures. This, totally different to this, this and this. Where are we? What's going on? Um, so the guide said before we entered that here kind of Asian cultures, so like Persian, for example, comes together with the European culture and on the premises, for example, you will find a Christian church, you will find a mosque also. And it's kind of a weird mix of a lot of cultures that more or less peacefully came together. Let's say it like this. <laughs> <laughs> Should wow. we start with the mosque? Maybe? Let's start off with the mosque. Yeah, let's go and check this place out. It's really stunning because you can kind of see like the the older walls kind of remind me um, of like fortresses that you might see in uh, Europe and uh, for example in Albania. And uh, then the walls in the front that you can see, they look kind of more Persian influenced, I'd say. Yeah, for sure. It's really amazing though. Um, great first impressions. We literally, we don't have the tour guide as you guys probably heard. He can't actually give us a tour of this place um, just for, you know, they want to sell their own audio guides or something like that. So yeah, well, if, if you want to have a tour in here, you need to book another yeah. tour guide. Exactly. From yeah. This place. yeah, we're not going to do that though. We're just going to wander around show you guys what we see give you our impressions and uh yeah we'll see we'll see what we end up doing inside this amazing castle grounds oh wow The castle grounds around here are kind of designed in a very fun way, so you can get lost super, super easy. Uh, I think just trying to walk around here, we already walked into two or three dead ends so far. Um, but we are finding our way up to the tower, on, somewhere up there, and uh, try and see what type of views we can have from there. The roots of Georgia extends very deeply into history and it has a very deep dark past as do as does many nations and being in a castle like this a fortress like this it only reminds you of those times the energy here is pretty interesting to say the least but right now we're slowly making our way up towards kind of the top of the castle itself and there seems to be seems to be some pretty spectacular views out over onto the city which i can no longer remember the name of but check this out just how beautiful that is georgia is a fascinating country guys and if you haven't already visited i would highly 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 recommend it to you we made it to the highest point of the castle itself as you can see there, the flag of Georgia is unfortunately not in the wind because today there's no wind. But check out these amazing views. This way you have loads and loads of mountain tops. And then looking over this way, there's a look. Hello guys. <laughs> over this way, you can see the entire city. And apparently 
What did he say? Something like 45,000 people live here? Something like 45,000 inhabitants, yeah. Very um, small, but nonetheless, it seems to be very vast. Um, it's very interesting as well how it's laid out. You just kind of have this castle situated here and the grounds of the castle is pretty massive. And then surrounding all around us, it's just houses and monasteries. Um, I would love to dive deeper into this place and explore, but fortunately we only have limited time so we can only check out the castle. But this castle is pretty epic. Super epic guys, as you can see from here as well, you can see all of the castle grounds and kind of the three defense towers there in the distance and um, it's super super interesting here because as we said before it's kind of an influence of different Asian and different European cultures and um, yeah just to see how all of those architectures kind of come together and make it work together um, is something that you don't see so often my god you guys check this mix of architecture out down here we just came from up there basically where you can see the flag right now and then down here you have this complete mix of architecture these types of pavilions here kind of look a little bit more asian and then when you look at these pavilions here um, i don't know i would assume they would maybe be more European, Eurasian, somewhere in the middle basically, but you definitely get a cool mix everywhere of cultures kind of clashing together, um, which looks super, super interesting. So guys, that was a quick little look into two fascinating parts of Georgia and stay tuned for the next few videos here from Georgia because it's only going to get more and more interesting. I couldn't agree more and we would also like to say thank you to Budget Georgia again for giving us the opportunity to travel around with you guys um, with some locals as well. It kind of gives it a little bit more of a local taste and we actually are able to understand the Georgian culture and Georgian history a little bit more because um, hearing stories or reading stories are two very different things. You cannot ask questions if you read a book about it. 100% guys. Borjomi, Rabati castle very interesting places and very fascinating stories from both we kind of got to have a little bit of it was a very brief trip in Borjomi where we got to try the water and similar here in Rabati but nonetheless as I said plenty more videos coming your way my name is Luke my name is Naomi we are the two mad explorers and this is your reminder to keep exploring see you guys in the next adventure Matloba bye 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 bye, bye, -bye.